Here I am at the League of Catholic Women. This is the next to the last place that Tiny Tim played his ukulele and played tiptoe through the tulips before he expired. The last place was the women's club up the road. I hope to visit that today too. But I have a lot going on. Passing through the skyway of bad carpeting. My God, right here there's a joint meeting of ichthyologists and herpetologists right where the American Philosophical Society met. And uh, that's so exciting. And here's where it all began. Look, down there, there's a mouse. There's some kind of cat. There's a bunny. Uh, there's an ox. And here's a very strange creature right there. And uh, up there, there's a uh, uh, perhaps a parrot. And there, the snake. Uh -huh. Herpetologists will study that. Ichthyologists will have nothing to study here. Nothing. And where's the turtle? Where's the little turtle? What did you do? Here it is, and I'm betting this guy is a herpetologist. Yeah, herpetologist for sure. Can you think of a better guy to study a turtle? I cannot. You know, I was just reading this last night. Recommended for Ted Samsel and for all who love to eat snakes and frogs. Over 952 recipes. And so we croak and hiss adieu. Yes. I'm here at the Antique Roadshow. This is very exciting for me because here's what I have. This is a fly encased in a plastic ice cube. I've had this since 1957, and the fly is probably even older than that. It's an actual fly. The fly probably dates from the Truman administration, or I can hope from the Franklin Delano Roosevelt administration. Uh, I'm going to present this, and, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to have to sell it. I've been hanging on to it since 1957. It was in my dad's store, and I took it, and I think the fly is older because these things did not exactly go off the shelf. And the guy that delivered them had been delivering these kinds of things to uh, little drugstores all over the country for years. And I think he more or less ripped off my dad and provided uh, this, which isn't as transparent as the, uh, the ones that were released in 1958. This guy's bought an antique rifle. The cops are, of course, evaluating it. That's old Betsy, I think. Okay, I was all ready, and I found out I would not be admitted to the Antique Roadshow. Tickets were available by lottery only, and I didn't enter the lottery. So, uh, so uh, 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 you know, I'm just going to keep it anyway, you know? I mean, I'm just going to keep it. Off to the Antique Roadshow. There is always hope. You're thinking, oh no, he despaired and he went to Vienna, ended up in the sewers of Vienna with Harry Lyme. I stopped at the Black Forest Inn to seek temporary surcease from the zither and the accordion. But you would be wrong. Actually, I'm just heading up Nicolet Avenue. If this noble old building is still standing, why cannot I? Is that right? And there's this. Plus the fact that Antiques Roadshow probably didn't have any specialists in antique practical jokes from the 50s. So I couldn't have gotten an accurate evaluation anyway. Do you agree? You guys agree? And here, the road to hope. But as always, I will seek surcease in great art. Midtown Global Market used to be the Sears building, and this is their 20th anniversary gathering on March 18th, 1948, when I was seven months old. I'm older than the fly in the ice cube, in the plastic ice cube. And here it is complete, 
uh, about 1928-1929. This right here is the problem. Preparations for the Basilica Black Party cattle corn will be available. Catholicism isn't the same as it used to be. However, I now know what to do. I'm going to offer up this to Ole Bull. And look, here comes my ride. I called, but he said he's full. <laughs> 